What's up guys? It's Grant here. I think you should learn Python. That's the end of the video. So recently I've been messing around with Python a lot for cybersecurity use cases. I just created a little keylogger that has some advanced spy-like features. Wow. And I created a little automation tool to parse log files. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know, I'm trying to get into more of the automation phase, because that's that's where it's going, right? Okay, that that's Oh gosh, intros. My recent activities with Python has got me thinking about how Python is used in the cybersecurity industry, and I, you know, I've covered this topic on this channel before. If you could care absolutely less about this video, which, you know, I understand, I understand. Commentary videos are annoying sometimes. Uh, there is going to be in the description below basically the summary of this video, um, because today I will be talking about the why you should learn Python, when you should learn Python, and where you should learn Python for cybersecurity. Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant here. Today I'll be talking to you guys about how to write some Python code. Yeah, I'm a Python expert hacker, bro. Yeah. If you are new to programming, backslash scripting, and you don't know where to start, I recommend you learn Python. And Really, here's, here's why. I'll, that's my transition. Python is a great language. Python is a great language. <laughs> Man, I'm weird. Okay, so anyway, Python is a great language to introduce yourself to the foundational concepts of programming. You will find all kinds of foundational programming concepts that you will use throughout any programming language. If you haven't programmed before, you're gonna be using many of the same programming concepts throughout all languages. For instance, variables, lists, loops, functions, object-oriented programming, error handling, and there's much more to it. All of these foundational programming concepts are gonna be used universally throughout any language that you code in. So learning them with Python, a language that is easy, is going to help you be able to apply these concepts when you get into harder languages uh, that deal with more advanced things. So being able to apply the foundations of programming is always important. Eh, yes. Python has a massive catalog of libraries and modules that you can utilize. So let's take my little advanced keylogger, maybe not really advanced, but let's take this advanced keylogger for example. So let's say I wanted to take a screenshot of the current thing that's happening. What I could do is just simply import the py screenshot module, create a variable which grabs the image and saves it to the path. And that's it. That's all you have to do to be able to take a screenshot in Python. You can apply basically this example to almost anything you want to do, depending on what you're trying to do. Um, because Python has a huge catalog of libraries that you can utilize. Automation, 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 automation. If you are in the industry or you do some research of the industry, you will probably be hearing a, a movement towards automation. And Python is a great language for automating different tasks. See, with Python automation, you can automate great things like the Hello World program 5,000 times. Meow. But really, in all seriousness, Python is uh, versatile and it's able to, it's been able to adapt over time to the industry needs. The automation movement is continually developing within industry right now. And this isn't just related to cybersecurity alone. You, you have all kinds of things you can automate. Um, but there are specific cybersecurity use cases uh, for Python that you can utilize. And Python is a great solution for automation. Well, you're never too late to learn Python or programming in general. Uh, this is pretty obvious, but if, when you have the time, I would consider taking a few hours or a few weeks and learning the basics of Python. I don't think there's any particular time that you should learn programming or Python in cybersecurity, but the sooner the better, usually, typically speaking. So you can learn how to automate great things like the Hello World program, this complex automation. Because once you can do that, 
do all kinds of things. I would advise if you are currently completing a project right now that's either related to technology or cybersecurity or academics, um, finish that project first before moving into Python. Give Python um, your full attention because it will literally take you not too long to learn the basics of Python. And so just complete what you're trying to complete right now if, if you are completing something. If not, then I challenge you to go and start learning Python right now. Um, but give the Python basics your full attention. And if you're a student in cybersecurity and you, know, you don't necessarily know where to start or what to do, I would just literally recommend taking a few hours uh, of your day and learning the Python basics because it really doesn't take that much time to learn the basics of Python. <sighs> Google. Well, thanks guys for watching this video. Okay, I'm just joking. Um, so honestly, to learn the Python basics, Literally, I would recommend you just look up some free online resources for Python because you can learn Python for free, the basics anyway. There's plenty of courses, books, and resources out there that are offering, you know, free help. So, um, give you an example. You have like websites like Code Academy, or you have a plethora of YouTube crash courses, as well as free CodeCamp, Ed Eureka. Uh, you have all kinds of resources. So simply just look up Python, learning Python 3 for free, and you will find resources. Go through those resources, and you should start to understand the foundational concepts of Python. Now, if you're looking to specifically aim your 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 knowledge and your focus towards uh, cybersecurity use cases for Python, I recommend you check out two resources. The first resource is the Python for Hacking and Cybersecurity Bundle on Station X. This course is more geared towards the pen testing side of Python. And you also have Black Hat Python, Python Programming for Hackers and Pen Testers. Again, this, these are both use cases for Python pertaining to pen testing. So yeah, I recommend you learn Python for cybersecurity. Uh, it's really, it's, it's a handy language to to learn when you're first starting out. And really that's it. I mean, that, that's, all, that's all I got in this video. So no, seriously, that's it. Basically have learned Python and have a good day.